Have you guys seen this shit? Before I begin, I know it's become popular to blame the police for the motorcycle theft epidemic in London recently. And uh, we need to just clarify that it's not directly the police's fault, at least not the bobbies that you see on the street. They're just doing what they're told to do. The government just doesn't have any money. Police are few and far between, and that's not their fault. That's a much higher, like, political government level bullshit problem. So, let's not straight up blame the police. Let's take a look at the video. Let's go. People are stupid, man. If they're not locking up, then that's their own fault. Okay, so the first thing that they're saying is, if you don't lock up your scooter, you're asking for it to be stolen. Is this true? Not really. You're making it easier for it to be stolen. Sure. Sure, there's no denying it. But you're asking for it to be stolen? No. Should you feel like you live in a place where if you don't cement something to the floor, it won't be there when you get back? No. The steering lock, yeah, we break that. It's that simple. <laughs> Easy money. Just got two lots on there, I ain't even looking at it. I'm take too much of my time. No, no, two lots, two lots. They're saying right here, if it's got more than two locks, I'm not even going to look at it. And you know what? Okay, for a scooter, maybe that's true. Because they're not stealing these scooters for money. They don't give a shit about the value of these scooters. They steal these scooters to commit further crimes on. They steal scooters in order to steal more expensive motorcycles, like your 25 grand Panigales, or your 18 grand RSV4s, or your 15 grand S1000 RR, or whatever. They need a decent scooter, something like a 300cc or whatever, to push a stolen motorcycle down the street. That's what they use these things for, and you know what? Maybe they're right in this campaign when they say that more locks equals less stolen scooters. Maybe. The high value motorcycle stolen to order? Bullshit. These people don't give a fuck if you have two chains, an elephant, a guard dog and cement on your Panigale. They're fucking taking it. They're gonna stand there in broad daylight, angle grinding shit off using hacksaws and threatening the public with a lump hammer. Why? because it's worth their while. They're prepared to risk 60 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes even, of their time angle grinding a disc lock or a chain off of an expensive sports bike in the middle of London, in front of a crowd of people. They know that the likelihood of them being caught is near enough zero. In fact, they're so sure of it, these fuckers are bragging to each other on social media. That pisses me off. This video completely, completely misses the point. That number is fucking scary. And it's only scooters, not motorcycles. Really? Okay, now, honestly, the slogan at the bottom of this screen pissed me off. Help us by playing your part. Are you fucking kidding me? How about you help us by playing your part? Catch these fucking criminals, bring them to justice, and put them away. You want the people that are victims of crime to go even further out of pocket to add a billion chains to their fucking scooter, which is the only thing they can afford now because their financed fucking S1000RR got stolen and their insurance company gave them 50p. Ugh. Do you have any idea how offensive that comes across? This changes absolutely nothing. It's the wrong solution, and they're looking at the wrong problem. What this video basically says is that if you don't cement your shit to the ground, it's not gonna be there when you get back. You need to spend more money locking up your shit because we are, for some reason, either unprepared or unable to provide the resources to not only catch these criminals, but to bring them to justice, to hand them sentences at least harsh enough so that they think twice before doing this. The solution here isn't that we need to secure our scooters better by drowning them in fucking cement or digging a trench and burying them in tarmac. The solution required here are more police, 
tougher sentencing and an active campaign to get out there and stop these little fuckers stealing our motorcycles. What else can I say apart from I'm bitterly disappointed? And honestly, I find it mildly offensive too. Thanks for nothing, I guess. But I must stress, please don't blame the Metropolitan Police. This is all done by some twat in a suit in a boardroom somewhere who thinks he knows what the fuck is going on because he's looked at some graphs and seen some numbers. Finger isn't on the pulse, doesn't really care. He's just being a corporate cunt pulling the strings. And that's the problem.